Hello viewers, uh, in last video I told you that how to create a rectangular channel geometry using ANSYS. In this video I would like to teach you that how can we create a hump in the way of the flow, a uh, hump of any shape. You can create a wear, a rectangular wear along the channel or uh, any type of obstruction you want to create along the path of the flow. Uh, in the perpendicular direction to the path of flow so simply uh, we can create along the width of the channel along the width of the channel means at 90 degree to the flow direction if flow is moving from this point to this point then hump will be constructed in this way so i will create humps of different shapes in this channel to teach you uh, see this is the width of the channel and i want to create hump at this point of any width so simply I will adjust the position and then I will go to YZ plane because this is this green line shows the Y and this uh, sorry uh, I will select YZ plane yes this is YZ plane and in Y in Y direction the flow will move from this point to this point or from this point to this point so in y i will create a sketch for this sketch i will draw a polyline let us say it starts from this point from this point and i'm just supposing the dimensions this point to this point and close the geometry this is close ended simply just uh, go to extrude command and with geometry you want to extrude this one this sketch number 13 which we have recently drawn apply and to which length what is the length of the channel if length of the channel was one meter as i told you in the last video so simply i will write one and i will click on generate and select here which material you want to use if you want to add material or you want to add frozen thing mean this is a solid thing so it will be added as frozen and if i rotate this in 3d you can see an obstruction is created in a trapezoidal form along the length of the channel you can simply see this is the a 3d object created along the way of the channel you can see here so if you want to create a circular hump or a semicircular hump along the path of the channel so simply this delete this extrude so the geometry is free to edit then go to this one i will just modify this after selecting all the four lines of the hump and just go to an arc start it from any point from which you want to start and use any dimensions you need you can use according to your requirements or you can give the size of the hump according to your requirements so see this is the hump go to modeling then create extrude and in extrude select geometry number 13 for geometry and its width will be one meter say and click on generate command so your hump is generated or oh, sorry what is length sorry add the material so we will simply click on add frozen and generate uh, i think it will be generated yes the hump is generated in the form of a semicircle circle if you want to add rectangular hump simply you can add the geometry of a rectangle over this uh, depending on your requirements you can add different geometries you can add multiple geometries or at various locations or you can add single geometry at single location say you want to not add a semicircular command so simply go to this one and go sketching click on this it will be deleted uh, it will you will delete it then simple go to rectangle uh, select this point and draw a rectangle of any dimension you want so this is the rectangle 
and I will go to modeling then you will I will use extrude command and extrude with geometry to be applied this is sketch 13 apply this call this as frozen and generate so you can see here that a rectangle rectangular obstruction is created along the way of the channel in the same way you can create the spur dikes in your open channels depending upon the requirements simply this is the channel with clear geometrical view you can see here uh, obstruction along the way of the flow is created thank you very much see you in the next video teach you that how can we create spur dikes